Hi, Rob Reiner here with another classic comedy from the recently discovered film vaults of Chick Morton and Eddie Hayes. The success of King Kong and Son of Kong in 1933 inspired producer Max King to jump on the bandwagon. The result was Oaf's Overboard, a delightful musical adventure that borrows liberally from such classic works of literature as Beauty and the Beast, The Man Who Would Be King, Treasure Island, Mutiny on the Bounty, Robinson Crusoe, and Marcel Proust's Remembrance of Things Past. So sit back and enjoy Chick Morton and Eddie Hayes in Oaf's Overboard. Chick. I don't know, Eddie. I'll think of something. Hey, Eddie. See that cruise ship? Yeah. That's our ticket home. But, Chick, we don't have tickets. We don't need tickets. I got a plan. Pee, you. These barrels smell bad. Of course it smells bad. It's caviar. Why do you think it's such a delicacy? Because it stinks. I jump in there before they load these on board. What about those? Well, they says beluga, don't they? Uh -huh. Let's get them. Excellent. With these weapons, I should have no problem in capturing and taming every hunter's dream. The eighth wonder of the world. El Supremo? Hmm? That's the last of them. Sign right here. Sure would be a shame if all this ammunition fell into the wrong hands. And whose hands might those be? You know, the Nazis. They paid top dollar for this kind of firepower. Top dollar, eh? I think Nazis is spelled with a Z. Oh, you do? Well, Mr. Smarty Man, do you see this? He's dead, El Supremo. I know he's dead. <laughs> ah, Smitty! My neck. Yes, El Supremo. Psst. Chick, this doesn't sound like a cruise ship to me. You're right, Eddie. Well, I think they're gone. Let's sneak out of here. Right, Chick? May I help you? Yeah, I think you maybe just give me a hand. I mean, uh, honest, we, uh, well, we never heard anything about you selling guns to the Nazis. Did we? No, no, of course not. And even if we did, is that such a bad thing? I mean, you gotta make a living, right? Probably have mouths to feed. Shut up! I'm afraid you are going to have to walk the plank. Hmm? We don't? Well, build one! Hang on here, Supremo! There you go, Captain. Is this thing safe? Of course it's not safe, you moron. You're supposed to die. Now, walk the flight. Aye, Captain. Not you, them. Come on, walk the flight. Come on, now, now. Eddie, this is all my fault. Will you ever forgive me, buddy? Yes, Chick. I should have never said we stow away on this boat. It was a dumb idea. Yes, Chick. Now we're going to plunge to our death. I'm a moron. Yes, Chick. Well, like everything you do is perfect. Skid down. Chick, you're alive. I can't 
can't believe it. It's a miracle. How you doing? The last thing I remember, we were kings. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Malo. I'm uh, Trick Morton. This is my uh, partner, Eddie Hayes. We're entertainers from America. Maybe you heard of us. We sing and dance a little. We're Morton and Hayes. We bring sunny days. We're here to entertain you without further delays. That's just the opening. We got a big finish, you know, with lots of dancing girls. But tasteful. I'm sure we could get you a couple ringside tapes. Laguna Malabuna. Four, if we can get them, sure. Four is fine. Yeah! See, Eddie? I told you the act would travel. Gee, Chick, don't you think we ought to take a bath after we do our big show? Relax, Eddie. Try to enjoy the local customers. Chick, hmm. why is he putting salt in here? Probably have some salt. It's good for aching muscles. Then what are the carrots for? For your eyes. So you can see the audience better. Laka daka. Lana hana. What did he say? My father said, welcome to the island of Lana hana. I'm Princess Lucy. Hiya, Princess. We're Morton and Hayes. Tonight's featured attraction. We know who you are. You were sent to us from the heavens. You ought to know. You're an angel. Chick. Hmm? She speaks English. And French and Latin. For you see, I was educated at Vassar. But I returned to my native island so I could carry on the traditions of my people. And you are helping us by offering yourselves in this great sacrifice. Oh, it's no great sacrifice, I assure you. You men are very brave. Say, Princess, what are you doing after the show? There will be a great celebration followed by one year of prosperity for the island. Yes, but actually I meant more immediately after the show. There will be much rejoicing. That is, if all goes well. Oh, don't worry, lady. This audience is going to eat us up. Oh. Hey, where's the princess going? I don't know. Maybe she's the opening act. As day turns into darkest night, we gather for this sacrificial rite. In hopes our island will survive, we wait for Ulu to arrive. Washed ashore, will be Ulu soup du jour. Soup du jour? Isn't that. Shush. What you mean, brother? No, I mean it's good. Hey, where's everybody going? Chick! Look! Morton and Hayes. Sponsored by... I think we're the dinner show. Yeah, let's get out of here. Please, Mr. Giant Man. If you gotta eat somebody, eat me. But leave my buddy Chick alone. He wouldn't taste very good anyway. Anybody eat you, they gotta eat me too. Do you mean it, Chick? Yeah. Eating Eddie Hayes without Chick Morton would be like eating ham without eggs. Or Frank's without beans. Or peanut butter without jelly. Or fish 
Well, without potatoes all rotten, what? with melted cheese and parsley flakes, delicately placed. Eddie, bang. We're Morton and Hayes. We'll always be friends. When one of us is far away, the other one lands. We're Morton and Hayes. We'll always be chums. When one of us is whistling, the other one hums. So if it's me that you have got to swallow And I'm the one who's gonna have to follow Cause I'm the guy on whom the other one depends No, I'm the guy on whom the other one depends We're friends, friends, friends <laughs> we don't have friends. I think he lost his appetite. Yeah. Mr. Giant, we'll be your friends. You will? Uh-huh. Yeah. We'll make friends. <laughs> oh, the giant has been tamed. All hail Chicken Eddie. <laughs> This is the life, Chick. It sure is, Eddie. It's a little muggy, though. Hey, Ulo. How about a breeze, pal? Coming right up, Mr. Chick. That was refreshing. Whoa. <laughs> Boy. The island of Lanahana is forever in your debt. Never before have we experienced such prosperity. Mm. Now I can concentrate on finding a man to marry me and become king. According to our traditions, he must be very brave and able to father 25 children. Well, princess, I... I think the choice is pretty obvious. Yeah, I am pretty darn good with children. I like to take them to the... Actually, Edward, I was thinking you could be best man and babysitter. Both of you would make suitable husbands, but I can only choose one. I have until the next full moon to decide. There he is. I found him. The eighth wonder of the world. What a magnificent specimen. Oh, hello there. Get a load of those calves. I could spend the rest of my life staring into those beautiful blue eyes. Uh, Captain, when you finally get the beast caged, you can do anything you want to it, no matter how strange. I promise I'll look the other way. Not the giant, you idiot, the girl. Oh, prepare the sedative. Right, Captain. Sedative Smithy. Get it. Get it. Captain. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. oh. oh my captain. What have I done? You Because you're near me Funny, but when you're near me I'm in the mood for love Heaven is in your eyes Bright as the stars we're under Oh, is it any wonder I'm in the mood I'm in the mood oh, I'm in the mood for love What are you doing in here? She's my girl, I tell you. Oh, yeah? The princess has until the next full moon to make up her mind, and I think she likes me. Well, why don't we ask her? All right, we will. Hey, princess! 
That ain't the princess. Ah! That sounds like her. She's in trouble. anything oh my gosh a boat what are you doing here look give me those i think it's el supremo and he's got lucy wait a minute yeah he's got the giant too you're right let's get him your hair looks beautiful in the moonlight I thank you, Captain. Not you, her. Toss the salad. Yeah, toss the salad. Not her, you. Go. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I love you. I will never love you. Oh, you would grow to love me. Don't lay a hand on me. <laughs> I love a girl with spirit. <laughs> oh, Smitty, quickly! Hi, Kevin. You must excuse me, I have a steak knife. Return Ulu and myself to Lanahana immediately. I'm afraid I cannot do that. You see, I have other plans for the giant. He is going to make me rich. To be, um, or maybe not to be, that, uh, line? Question, question, you idiot. That is the question, idiot. Whether it is to suffer, or arrows, or sorrow, or arrows. Say no more, my liege. But we are but your humble servants here to solve your dilemma. What's going on? No one else is supposed to be on stage. Ulu! It's us! Jack and Eddie! Those idiots. They ruin my production. Going somewhere? My lords. Yes. The princess and the giant prince are returning to their rightful place. Forgive my boldness, Your Grace, but I'm afraid your reign of terror has stopped. Reigning. Why? I think the princess has other plans. But darling, you wouldn't want your bride's death hanging over your head. Ah. My sweet, you've come to your senses and decided to marry me. Yes. Well, it seems the best man has won. And I will send you a postcard from Niagara Falls, addressed to your grave. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. 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 I'm cured. All my life, I have suffered from a steak knife. Now I feel as if... As if... As if... As if... Good work, boys. Now we can return to the island and get on with the real wedding. Which one of us are you going to marry? Lucy? Aren't you Lucy Lakahaka Makawaka from Vassar? Wally Johnson, the Yale quarterback? Lucy, where have you been? I've been carrying something around for you since graduation. <gasps> Wally, it's beautiful. Uh, Ula, we're going home. Good. Ula no like New York. City crowded, dirty. <laughs> People don't make eye contact. Eddie Chick, I'll never forget you. Oh. Come on. 
What are you looking at, dog face? Take it on the arches. How do you like that? We come all this way to save her, and she leaves with Joe College. Well, I guess it's just you and me again, pal. You and me, and those wonderful people out there. It's showtime. We're Morton and Hayes. We'll always be friends. When one of us is far away, the other one lands. We're Morton and Hayes. We'll always be chums. When one of us is whistling, the other one hums. <laughs> The actress who played Lucy Lakahaka Makawaka was involved in one of Hollywood's steamiest sex scandals. I'll be right back to tell you about it. The actress who played Lucy Lakahaka Makawaka was a young starlet by the name of Dorothy Dixon, who had been taken fresh off the farm by Max King and promised movie stardom. Unfortunately, the fast pace and glitter of Hollywood were to prove too much to Dorothy. During the making of Oaf's Overboard, Chick Morton, ever the ladies' man, took a liking to Dorothy. Now, it may seem tame by today's standards, but at the time, Chick was already married to costume designer Perk Schlav. They were in the process of going through a messy divorce, having a torrid affair with trapeze artist Lola Di Fabrizi. While on a whistle-stop war bond tour in 1943, somewhere between Des Moines and Kansas City, Chick and Dorothy were discovered by both Perk and Lola in a compromising position under a table in the dining car. When asked what he was doing, Chick replied, I was helping her look for her shrimp fork. From that moment on, Dorothy's reputation and career were damaged beyond repair. She never worked in the movies again. Last reports have her living as a cloistered Carmelite nun somewhere in Guatemala. We can only hope that she's found peace and happiness, something that Hollywood could never give her. So tune in again next week when we present another Morton and Hayes comedy classic. Until then, good night. Tomorrow night, the dream of youth becomes a terrifying nightmare in the summer series that has the critics raving, Stephen King's golden years. And Friday, can you compare the forces of hurricanes with those of Terminator 2? Your curiosity will be rewarded Friday on Fantastic Facts. <laughs>